I am thrilled to announce that I am moving on. I really discovered that what my next job would be, I, it, it came to me last, well, last Black Friday. And it was at that point in time they announced that there were, there were more gun background checks done on that day than in the history of the country. More guns were purchased than had been in a long, long time. And when I saw this, I realized that if Christians were buying weaponry as gifts for their loved ones in order to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior, then I, a Jew, <laughs> knew a moneymaker when I saw one. <laughs> and so I'm thrilled to announce <laughs> that I have found an economically distressed area in Alabama, <laughs> and I will be able to help them out because it will be there that I will be opening Chewy Jewy's gun store. <laughs> I could not be happier. This is gonna be a tourist destination. I mean it, because just, just if I just had Jewy Jews alone, people from around the world and the United States would flock there. Son of a bitch, they'd cry out, I gotta get to Alabama and see who Jewy Jew is. <laughs> Next door, I will be opening a, uh, a theater where my friend John Bowman will be performing the Hank Williams story. <laughs> Next door to that will be an Irish pub, which is gonna be run by Kathleen Madigan, a very funny comic who also needs to be around alcohol 24 seven, her hands start to shake. <laughs> I plan to build a giant Ferris wheel, the biggest Ferris wheel in the world. Why? Cause Jewy Jew wants a Ferris wheel. <laughs> and mounted at every seat will be a machine gun. Because you never know when a plane is gonna attack you when you're on a Ferris wheel. <laughs> Better safe than sorry, assholes. <laughs> and in the back, I'll have a casino. Do we really need another casino? You're fucking right we do. What makes my casino different is when you hit the jackpot, Jewy Jew himself will bring you two six guns and you can fire them in the air. <laughs> I know it may seem strange to many of you that I would choose to open a gun store, but to be honest, the NRA after years and years has finally gotten to me because they've, they've really taught me that the, well, guns don't kill people. Mentally ill people with guns kill people. And if we all had enough guns, we could kill all the mentally ill people. <laughs> it was after Sandy Hook, oddly enough, the NRA that pointed out to the American people, we have a problem with mental illness. And whenever I think about the problem of mental illness, the first people, that I want to talk with are the good folks at the NRA. <laughs> Their work in the field of mental illness is, as we all know, legendary. 